Hey guys, welcome to Mooncake Visual. Don't forget to check previous video and subscribe if you like it. Links to download Quick BP controller are in the description. Also, you can get the project file from Patreon. They will be from 3D assets to whole Unreal Engine 4 projects. So this is a way to support me, but also help the development of the Quick BP controller. So thank you so much for your attention and let's start. Hello guys, this is Andy from Okay Visual and this time I'm gonna go through a tutorial about using the Quick BP, uh, which is basically a starting start a project that I created in Unreal Engine that will help you to get started with the virtual production. But this project is oriented to to trackless setup. I mean I mean like putting the camera on a tripod and then you add virtual camera movement. So I haven't tested with any tracker yet, but I hope soon I get the equipment to do it. But for now it's just meant to work with trackless setup. Uh, this project also includes the the QBP controller, which is the software that we're gonna use to control our real. Uh, I mean the the program. Sorry. Okay, so the first thing we need to do when you download your file, you go you can go ahead and open your project. But after you open, it will you will have it here. So when you want to start a new project with it, you just clone it. You just right click and then clone it. And then put whatever you whatever you wanted to have it like this time I'm going to create a test test project select and then we change the name there you go and then we just click create it says warning okay so it will start cloning it it will, it will do it in the background so we just need to wait uh, so far so good uh, I already clone it and I open it when you open the project the first thing you're gonna get is this cool black empty project with some elements please don't delete them because they were they, they are the ones in charge of of connect the project with the with the controller so basically when you download the when you download the file you'll get the project folder but also you, it will have this the the controller set up you just go ahead and install it now when you open you can go ahead and open the the controller which is called quick bb controller you double you open it and then you will get this lot of messy windows basically we're gonna go we're gonna go through them when you know in in this tutorial um okay so just to make sure that everything works good we're gonna hit play and you will see now that it says connected so it's it's connected to quick bp test which is basically the name of the project so you got everything on every win you got the same name all, all the windows so if i escape you say it's not connected okay let's set the the project name first we're gonna go to our socket io controller you got our project name let's Testing this now. I hit enter, then I save. Now I hit play. You see, that's in this. Okay, um, basically, you got yeah, uh, this is this is the project folder. Okay, you get a lighting BP folder, which is basically light BP that I use. I'm working on them to make them better, but you can go ahead and test them and make your own modifications so to make them better. This is my favorite, <laughs> the beam one. But okay, so let's go to our quick BP. Uh, you see, we got our we got a decal as well. We're gonna be working with it later, and got some materials which is gonna be using the composure just you can see here that there's also a pre composure pre uh, composition made already so which is basically output into your to the player viewport you got a foreground and a background just in case you don't have it you should but just in case it's just a basic composition with a element with a CG plate and a CG element and the uh, foreground just have an input as a texture which is empty before now uh, make sure that it's a texture input not a media texture a texture and also we got a custom material pass which is the invert alpha which is here 
good and the background you'll see that it's just basically in the input in the composure input it just excluding the actors this is already uh, added layer but just in case you don't have it you can add it um okay oh just let me delete this i don't know what it's doing there but it's important to keep that actors layer with actors capital a c t o r s with s because we're gonna be using here as well okay now let's go to the bp this is basically the the blueprints used here you can see in the word settings is the game will set as the broadcast which is this which is basically a mess but you can go ahead and explore it i i, I bet you will understand it <laughs> um but we got our capture which is basically the camera that will capture this camera needs to be in the scene always but because what we're gonna do we're gonna capture the green screen actor and then we're gonna compose it here uh we got a uh, control panel uh, which is basically testing like pretty fun key to test some elements uh we got dp the interface which is basically to switch the camera we got uh, extra programs we're gonna be it's here we're gonna be talking about it later we got also level director which is an interface that connects everything um we got an operator camera uh, which is basically a cinema camera but it's modified to work with the capture camera so we're gonna be working with it as well uh also we got our socket controller on uh, the talent bp which is basically where we're gonna put our green screen actor and the video controller which is basically in charge of all the screens if you want to have the screen on the scene it will play it back okay so as i said this project is meant for trackless setups because i haven't had i don't have any track equipment so so it's for people like me basically okay let's go ahead and add something to the scene like a plane uh zero 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 let me add a 50 let me add a wood material so you don't look that dark even with that light i'm sorry there we go so it's actually it's on lit let's set it to lit there's no light in the scene so let's add a directional light there you go oh, let me place it zero zero to 50 there you go so now let me so we got a uh, scene here uh let me add a talent let's start by adding a talent talent as i said uh, let me just have the talent where our green screen actor will be uh the talent you got you have some option like floor offset you just to offset the plane keeping the the actor position uh, we got use tall in case that you're gonna use a 9 by 16 video, which is the case now uh, Chroma material is just the actual material that we're gonna use and the footage and the The media player and the URL. Let's work with it. Let's create a new folder in the root, which is called footage Good now let's import Some green screen. Uh, let me import this from symmetry uh, Let me import over this good okay now let's create a media player for the girl i'm sorry for the guy 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 media player so we need the texture as well so what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and drag this here there you go we're gonna double click to open let's just play the the, the guy okay we can pause it just to get the the url and we're gonna paste it here good nothing happens because we need to set the material so you can create a material uh chroma key material but this time i'm gonna use the composure one so i'm gonna go to key go to chroma key i'm color difference which is my favorite i'm gonna create an instance i'm gonna call it guy mat and then i'm gonna move it to my footage folder okay move it here there you go 
So I'm gonna go ahead and drag this material here. Good, so we got the material. Let's double click to open it. And let's change the texture to the one in the media player. There you go. So now you can see it. Let's work with the key in. Alpha, I'm gonna work with the alpha. Let me dispel it. Good. Uh, it's okay, just, just a quick demo here. Then, now let's work with the floor offset. And there you go. Now, if you go ahead and go to the media player and you just play it, you see that we got you getting the the ghosting effect. You see, we're getting the ghosting effect. Okay, now let's close it. Something you will see by default in the talent BP is that it's hidden in game let's uncheck it by now because we want to see it so now we got the actor right uh let's get a capture camera and let's reposition it whenever whatever you want it to be uh, okay it's okay there good because you know if you don't check when you see it in the game view mode pressing g you won't see it so you can just like uncheck it by now there you go, so the camera is here and that position is good good, now so uh, okay we got our camera and everything so now hit play boom nothing happens, so why? why nothing is happening? because as I said, this camera is capturing this, but we haven't set any target yet. I mean, if you go to, to you choose the camera and then you go to camera, uh, where is capture settings? There's nothing. So let's create a target. Uh, uh, let's create a texture, uh, canvas render target, uh, FG target, or whatever name you want to put it. So now if you hit, there you go. Oh, sorry, it's target. Hit save. Now, if you hit play, boom, black screen again. But why? Because in the foreground, also in the input, we need to make sure that it's texture input, and then we need to drag that target. There you go. Now, if I hit play, you see it? Oh, look. Uh, you. So it's because your target is not set to a good resolution in this case uh 1920 by 1080 the case i'm gonna save it hit play oh boom yeah it's good but what happened it's not playing the video so because as i said if you go and you check this back hidden game we're gonna if you hit play it will be hidden because uh when you go to the let me go to you go to the blueprint to the control panel you will see that there is there are two keys only for talent like let me see where is where the key where the key where the key is d toggle talent and f so our d is for talent id zero and f for talent id one now if i choose my talent you see that there's talent id this is the zero and talent description there's no talent description let's add a description which is guy talent and let's keep talent ID in zero. Now, if I hit play, now hit D, you will see your talent is playing back the video. Good, but the best part is that we don't have the ghost in effect. Like, if you go ahead and take the capture and you move it closer, and hit play, you press D, you will see that there's no there's no ghost in effect. Good. So, but something there's something else. Now, if you hit play and you go to the controller you see it's connected but you also get a talent here guy talent if you click it you will see that we title it oh <laughs> cute it's automatic um okay so next step let me just let's add another talent let's go to the 
footage we already got our girl let's create another media player media player uh, yes we need a texture sorry girl media player we got it let me open and let's open the the girl let me stop it there you can close it now let's drag another talent into the scene uh, let's go to our bp uh, talent talent there we go we got a talent let us uh, let's add an offset let's go back to our footage let's drag our girl media player here uh let's add uh, talent id one because if you keep it zero it will you might get issues so they will trigger together okay talent description will be a girl talent and let's open the media player get the girl url from here there we go let's paste it here hit enter okay so now we got the guide material we can create an instance of of that instance so girl met we can go ahead and drag and drop it here oh wait we got the guy no problem you just double click and take the girl texture and just change it change it i'm sorry now you got the girl good so you can go ahead and add some color gray so you can like try to match uh, let me let me work on the gain a little bit there you go you can it's just for matching let me add a little bit of con contrast there you go saturation a little bit more saturation oh but we can like take the gain to a reddish like the guy Not that red, not that red. Uh, okay, I think it's, oh, it should be okay, just for testing purposes. Okay, so something we can do is that we can work with the scale. You need to make sure that it's locked. Basically, this is a 16 by 9 video. So, okay. There you go. Now let's move it back. Now what if if we hit play now? Oh let's uh, let's make sure that our camera is good. Focus on both. Now if play, see it? Now we get the girl. Good, we got our girl. Good, we got the guy. Woo, we got both. Yes. Yes, I love it. Okay. So basically this is when well, not in a talent but we're not done yet we're not done yet what if we want a camera cut or whatever so let's take our girl let's put it right here let's uh, let's rotate this let me just good let's go back to our quick bp the bp folder now what we're gonna do now we're gonna add a camera because we're just using the capture camera and we want to add a camera switch so we get operator camera let's just focus on that operator camera let's just focus our girl okay as you can see we gotta work on the floor offset a little bit but it's okay let's increase a little bit of size let's increase the offset there we go now let's eject it and now let's add another camera but for our man because basically the bp camera was just meant to capture and that's it so let's focus on our man talent right here it's okay here good now let's identify our cameras the camera title for this is man talent camera good now this is a woman girl talent camera oh my god girl talent camera 
Good, something I like to do is just to have everything in order. Uh, so in this case, only not in the blueprints. Okay, cameras. Good. Uh, okay. Now if I hit play, nothing happens. Now if you go back to our, you see that we got both cameras. Okay. Now if I switch to my girl ta camera talent, oh, nothing happens. But we, because we need to toggle them. There we go. So if I toggle the guy, the girl will disappear because you know I had to do it because of my hard drive. My hard disk is not that fast, so I needed to reduce the bandwidth. So if I toggle the guy and then go to the man camera, there you go. Good. So we got two talents, two cameras. But okay, this talent stuff toggling. I might work on it, so if you wanna have two talents at the same time, but I think it's not it's not necessary because I bet you can have you know you can record the both talents in the same green screen or whatever. But okay. Uh so let's me see what else. Okay, so now what if we want to add uh, an animation like to animate the camera? Like let's suppose that we wanna like animate the girl camera so let's add a rig for animation we need to add a rig or make the camera ch child of other element why there is an issue i'm trying to figure out but i'm working on it i, I promise <laughs> okay so let's let's add a rail yeah so z position now let's make this camera girl camera uh where is the rail? You move the camera. Girl, rail. Let's make it children. Now position zero, zero, sixty, which is what I saw in the official documentation. So let's by now let's toggle. Okay, now let's just move it a little bit, and let's add a uh, look at. To our girl. Good. Okay, now let's work. Position. Uh, let me just. Let's right here. There you go. So let me move the rail here. Good. So I think it should be. Should be. It should be okay with this. It's okay. Oh, uh, let's just animate our rail, like current position of rail. So you see, okay. The camera is supposed to focus, so let's enable. There you go. If you want to add any offset to it, yes. Let's work on the. Uh, yes, twenty-four is okay. See it. Good. This is for the motion blur effects. Right, okay, so you see it, and we got our plane. Now, what if we want to play that? Let's create a sequence first. Level sequence. We're gonna call the footage girl sequence. Good. So let's move it in the camera. Or let's move it to a new folder. Sequences, good, love that name. Okay, so we got our girl sequence. We're gonna like, like set it to zero, and then we're gonna go to our cinematic. Let's just make it last uh, 25 seconds, 15 seconds, 25 seconds. Okay, if you don't know how to set in seconds, you just go to 30 FPS and then show time as seconds. Okay, so let's create a keyframe here. Did you see it? That means if you can click it, just try, click it. There you go. Now let's see that camera. Now let's move to our end and then let's move it rel to like one. Uh, okay, good. So now I got this cool animation. But if you see it's just rotating it's rotating too much so we can see it okay so now let's just save 
let's close it let's go back to our default viewport uh okay i got i think i can like modify the rail just place it here so i don't rotate that much now if you you go to the camera and then you will see in the bp option this is an option that is called sequence to play you choose the sequence which is girl sequence Woo! now let's play it let's test it so the first thing oh sorry so the first thing we're gonna do let's go to our program let's toggle the girl and now let's go to girl camera girl talent camera and you see it's playing the sequence woohoo good great yes okay but we're missing something what yes we need to make the girl always focus on the camera like the billboard stuff so how we do it just easy just go to the camera and then choose focus actor talent bp which is actually the girl okay girl talent so we can identify them boy talent good oh it said bye what the <laughs> okay good okay so let's get to the camera and then we're gonna focus on girl talent good now if i play let's toggle the girl and then let's go to girl camera now you see the girl is following the camera uh, sorry guys uh, what happened was kind of, what happened was kind of funny because the thing is that i just named it as the boy when it's supposed to be the girl oh my god talent yes and this and this post and this guy here is supposed to be the boy god damn I'm a human guys, I'm a human. <laughs> okay, so let's set that name to Girl Challenge. Yes. Okay, so now let's go back to this. I will look at setting to our girl. Talent, there you go. And then I will focus actor to our girl talent as well. Okay, now if I play go back sorry let me go back to my let me tell the girl and go back to a girl talent you see now how she is rotating around with the camera you can see it you see it oh yeah and you see that there's no ghost in effect okay so we got our talents and the scene we got two talents and now they are readable by our controller so let's quickly work with lights so if you hit play if you hit play you see that there's no two pre-made function with lights which is to switch the light on and off and the toggle the screen we're gonna check down them later okay so let basically let's go to our sorry to our content where is it where is it? Content, quick VP, decals, and then we got a, f a floor decal. This is a light, basically. So let's place it here. So you can see, let's move it up. Let's just the directional light. Where is the directional light? Let's lower the intensity to like 0.7. It's okay. okay so we got our light let's just add intensity oh, 100 radius is okay i miss it to two three three is okay no problem uh just normal flatten because i want to flatten the normal it's okay okay so this is a light right it's on can see it now if you double if you double click on the blueprint or just edit open the blueprint 
event graph you see that there is a light toggle function as you see here uh, sorry if you go back to our quick BP, BP and our level director there is a there is a likes toggle function as well so uh, so they go there you go so there's a there is a likes toggle which is in their interface because I added we're gonna go more in detail later but now let me just duplicate it duplicate it duplicate it duplicate it G now if I hit play let me toggle the girl their talent their camera you see it now if I switch the lights off they are off you see it on they are on off they're off go on they're on good so this is basically how works this decal so you can add it at the border of a bunch of stuff but also you can add uh like index group so i mean if you choose the decal you go to the index group it will add like a delay like this is zero then this will be one uh this will be 1.5 then this will be two and this will be 2.5 uh, let's add another operator camera so we can see it uh, operator camera let's move it up so we can see like the light show <laughs> we can focus okay this camera is light show it won't do anything it's a light show uh, now let's let's hit play to see it now let's go to our light show camera you see we, if we switch them off you see one two three four there you go if I turn it on one two three four yo uh, one two three four what happened is that when you run in a program on lights there is a delay that there's a time that we need to wait so it will work again because when you click it you see that there's yellow so you won't be able to click it but then you will see okay this is how it works so with the light index those functions are meant to work with the future that I'm gonna work on which is basically like programming so i can create like a sort of like animation engine which will work on with nodes so like like programming but with nodes so to add to this console okay so basically we got the lights uh let me just get out of the camera so we added some light but now how can I like create my cost your how can you create your custom program like something that you want to do uh, good let's create a cube or whatever cube or let's let's create a blueprint so let's go to my content extra stuff let's let's create an actor okay let's create a blueprint class will be actor testing cube oh good so let's drag it into the scene is there let's double click to open it first thing that every actor needs to have is in class default class settings i'm sorry you need to add the interface level director so you will have access to the function you see it good okay now the first thing we're gonna add is a cube cube good uh main cube uh you see our cube Let's increase the size like 10, 10, 10. And where's our cube? Let's compile. Where's our cube? What the heck? Oh, I got our cube. Okay. It's all big. Damn. Sorry. So let's add it. Let's move it up. So I like to, to add it in the floor. Let's just increase the size, decrease the size to two. Let's move it down. Let's add a material like wood love wood 
let's wait for it to compile let's compile let's save it's actually working on the materials compiling the material uh, let's be patient because you know <laughs> this is what I have okay so let's be patient guys in this case is compiling in the meantime we'll just compile and let's keep working on the cube okay oh there you go so we're ready we're ready so now let's decrease the size again to one let's match it with the floor because I don't want it to be that big compile let's save now if you go to our guard camera the cube is visible so let's create a custom a custom function for our cube that will trigger a custom function to trigger our cube uh, okay the first thing we need to do is where is it where is it where is it where is it uh, set custom program let's implement it there you go oh sorry no 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 no, no. it's get program info i'm sorry you gotta double click it on the function this is where we're gonna set the 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 info so we can get the program here so uh, first then let's the program info is basically the program title the program name so the one uh, that will send this will send a message like hey trigger the program this program this is the program name and the ID hey trigger the program let's suppose moving cube hey trigger the program moving cube uh, and this is the ID basically just to no no sorry 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 the program name for right is the name that will appear here right and then the this is an id that that will this program will send a message to unreal engine hey trigger the program id this and this oh forgot about it let's just go in a sample kill trigger trigger right no extra info uh, it's not needed for now because it's just for for future 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 purposes and this will be the zero so it's important the id there you go so this will be the one so kill trigger good now if i if i play and we go here to open, nothing happens why because we need to add to our cube we need to add attack we need to add attack the tax are in the tax txt will be in the root of the of the folder of the things that you downloaded so we level program let's add a tag level program so there you go so compile let's save it let's save it okay so now let's hit play and then we'll go we go here you see we got q trigger nothing happens when you trigger because we haven't make it do anything so let's let's just go to an event graph and then let's just uh, play program implement function so what would be a big you see that there's a program id what would be a good practice because here as you see we're creating a custom program so a good practice will be to create a variable uh called program id in this case an integer let's just compile and then save it let's make it visible on the editor and then go back to our program info and then just put it here Boop. program id there you go and then so good now if you go to our cube you see that there's program id which will be zero in this case so oh, let's set it to one uh, okay so let's in the event graph play program so the the broadcast game mode when you send let's suppose you hit you click hey trigger cube the id is that 
it will send that message to every single program, to every single object with the tag program. But if the ID, the program ID, you need to make the ID match. So if it doesn't match, just ignore it. So let's drag and drop here, program ID. So this is the ID that we received from here to make sure. So to make sure that they are the same. So they are equal. Now let's add the branch. Uh, so just if it's the same ID, so this is because we can have like in one button We can have like multiple we can trigger multiple programs using the same ID So we'll have one button, but we'll trigger multiple stuff Like okay, like a screen with two screens together or whatever whatever Okay, so now if it's true, let's print just let's print a message Print string, hello, trigger. Triggered me. Let's compile. Let's save. Now let's hit play. Go, you, you we got our kill trigger. We hit. There you go. You triggered me. Good. Now let's make it work. Uh so the cube. Let's let me show you some uh a really cool feature which is uh, actor, uh, what's the name? I can't remember, but it's actor. It's like a sequencer and bit in the actor blueprint, which is one that I use a lot. It's experimental. Uh, the only issue I had is that it, I'm not able to have like multiple sequences, but I like it. I love it. Uh, okay, let's add a component which is called sequence, actor sequence. You see it? Main sequence. Good. Uh, in this case, we got. You see, it's experimental, but I love it. This this should work on that function to take it out from experimental. Let's open. We got our timeline here. Uh, okay, let's switch this to frames. Time set frames. Uh, just gonna have like 30 frames. Okay, 30, 60 frames per second. 30. Two seconds animation. So now let's track the cube, our main cube. We just need the uh, transform. In this case, we don't need the uh, we don't need the scale. Uh, also, we just go to yoid. So we can just raise pitch and roll, and we just need the x and y. We just need the c location. Okay. So now let's add a keyframe here keyframe there you go and now we're gonna go like whoop like 20 whoop, 20 frames uh, let's add it again uh, let's go back here and then let's move the location really really uh, like it's okay and then let's flip 30 60 degrees so now if you hit play the whoop you see it? Oh, it's a lot. That is, it's a lot. Sorry. Let's just like. Okay, here we go. Now, if you hit play, we got our cube. Okay. Good. Now. Uh, okay, so we got our animation here. Let's save. Let's compile. Let's save. Uh, let's just play. Uh, good. Okay, now let's work with it. Uh, let's close this because we don't gonna need it uh, Okay, so we want to play the animation when We receive the program. So let's drag and drop here Okay, oh sorry, let's drag and drop here. So let's Get play get play get where is it? Uh, get where is it and the uh, Get sequence player and uh, now let's play just play good uh, let's just if it's true let's compile let's say this is the way that I made the pop-up pop-up stuff okay so let's hit B now let's go to our to our let's trigger our girl let's go to girl camera 
and then let's kill, let's trigger the kill. You see, poop, we got the animation. Good. The the trigger the the cube is visible, so just let's make it a little bit prettier. So let's just go to the hidden. Let's hide it in game. And uh, before play the animation, let's just set actor hide it in game. Let's just unhide it and then we just then we play the animation let's compile let's save uh, okay so now let's hit play let's go to our guard camera let's go challenge let's trigger let's then you see we got our cube there so we got our graphic great so now what if if you check if you click you will like do it again but what if we want to hide it so let's create a sort of like uh reverse programming or whatever it's called i don't know it's up to you to have a name <laughs> but let's in this case let's create a variable which is open let's call it open by now boolean let's compile let's just drag and drop here get open so now what we're gonna do basically in this case uh, if it's true right let's just make sure there is no open so what if it's if it's if it's open what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it oh sorry so we're gonna if it's open let's gonna unhide let's if it's not open sorry if it's not open let's unhide it and then let's play but if it's open what we're gonna do is we're gonna play in reverse let's play reverse and then let's create a delay the delay must be, I mean, the animation duration, I mean, the, the, the length of the animation. So, in this case, let's get duration. You see it? And then let's convert it to second. So, this is the delay. And then, after the delay, let's hide it. Uh, set, set, hide it in game. Set actor actor hide in game and let's make it hide so now for that we need to set the open now after it's played right uh, let's set the when it finished playing let's set the open to, to open because it's already open and here after it finished let's set the open to not open because it's not it's not but something easier that we easier that we can do is just get open not and then just set open and just set the opposite what i did here what it's telling me is just to after after finish this just set open to the opposite i mean if it's open set to not open if it's not open set it to and blah 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 so let's say let's compile let's hit play see it let's trigger our girl let's go to our girl camera and let's trigger the cube you see the cube let's click it again you see it what happened uh there was like a if i click it's not immediate it's like it waits and then go back so uh the thing is that uh if you go to the animation if you open the sequence you see that there are some frames here which are like unnecessary so let's set it here uh let's compile let's save now let's hit play 
Now let's go to our girl, girl camera. Let's trigger the cube. You see it now. Let's trigger it back. Now you see it. There you go. So this is how we work. So let's okay. Let's refresh it by creating another trigger. Let's create another thing. Uh, I don't want it to make. I don't want. I didn't want to make this so long, but you know, there's a bunch of stuff to learn. Okay. So in this case, let's create another actor. Sphere. Let's call. Let's call it sphere actor. Uh, okay. Uh, this one will be next to our guy because we're only using the girl. Let's double click to open it. Remember, first uh, first thing is to add our level director interface let's compile oh let's compile let's save okay so now let's add a cylinder cylinder there we go let's move it up so it will be like in the floor let's compile let's save good now let's add a material uh, which will be wood again love wood there you go. Oh my god, I need to wear it need to wait to let me just use a one that I've used. Let's save it, there you go. You see oh my god, it's compiling. It makes my computer really slow, but okay. Remember, we added the interface. The interface, right? Uh so what's next? We need to set the program info I mean to send the program info to the main to the game mode so this uh, the program name will be like cylinder cylinder trigger uh, the custom program will be let's do again what we did before which is basically create a trigger ID let's set it to integer and make it visible. Let's compile. Let's save. Let's go ahead and drag and drop here. Let's compile, save, and then if you go here, trigger ID will be one. One. There you go. So now let me just take the open camera. Where is where is the red camera to? No, upper camera. There you go. So you can see both. Because I want to show you something, what happened. Good. Uh, it's okay. So let's continue. Oh, I put sphere and it's actually a cylinder. Oh my god. But okay, it's okay. Um, oh, trigger ID will be one. There you go. Let's compile. Let's save. Now, that just as we did. Uh, let's implement play program. Uh, let's the trigger ID. If it's the same, if they are the same, whatever is the same. Let's create a branch. Uh, okay, this time I'll just make it easier. Just make it visible. Let's make it invisible. So we did. Uh, if it's the same program, so let's set actor hidden game. Uh, okay, so let's create a visible variable. Will be a boolean. Uh, okay, and in this case, and then we're gonna set set to not visible. Okay, compile, let's save. Now, let's hit play. Whoa, no, we don't have the third trigger. Why? Remember the tag. We need to add the level program tag. So let's 
go here. Let's go to tag. Uh, tags, let me add a tag. Level program. Let's compile. Let's save. Let's save. Uh, now if I play. Woo, yes. We got a cylinder trigger. So let's try it. Let's go to our light show camera. And let's trigger the cylinder. You see it? Visible. But wait. I got both trigger. You see it? Yo, what happened? Oh no. You see it? We're getting both. But why? Okay, so now let's see what happened is that as I said, the trigger ID one, trigger ID one, they got the same trigger ID, they will be triggerable by the same by the same stuff. So in this case we need to change the trigger ID to let's make it oh two or oh, whatever. So let's hit play. Let's go to our open camera. Let's trigger the cylinder. See it? Let's see it. Q. Go. Back. Q. Back. Cylinder back. So remember that you need to set the trigger ID. Uh, all here. And there you go. So, yeah. So now what's extra program for? Well, let's see if you go to our program data, extra program. What is it for? It's basically to trigger, like, it's to create an extra trigger. And like, let's suppose I want to trigger both together. So let's create a extra program here, broadcast BP. You create an element and then it's program type. You can leave it at zero, no problem. So the description is, well, you cannot, you should leave it at zero. And because it won't do anything, it's for purposes, for future purposes. Uh, trigger both, uh, no extra data. As I said, we're not using that at all by so far by now because I'm not working with that yet. But it's for future uh, uh, updates. And the trigger ID of this will be like three. So, what happened with this? It's trigger ID, three. Uh, if, we, if I play, I'm oh, sorry, if I play and go back to, you see, trigger both. If I click, nothing happens. Why? Because I haven't said that. I haven't said that. So if I go to sphere, right? And if I say that if the trigger ID is equal to the one I have, or let's suppose that trigger ID is equal to three which is the one I said in here is equal to three. Now it said or boolean. Oh, three, which is the one in there. Okay. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so what I'm saying here is that if the program ID that it sends, it's equal to the one I said here, or it's equal to three, which is the one I said in the extra program, then do this so let's compile let's save uh same will be with the cube so let's here let's go here uh, let's add uh equal to three or or boolean two and there you go compile let's save so let's hit play Sorry guys, my bad, is that I was just connecting the program ID and it's supposed to compare the the program ID we get, I'm sorry. Okay, so here, here, here you go. Let's compile save, compile save. Now if I play, then I just go to my light show camera and then let's trigger the cube, trigger the cylinder, trigger both and they are hitting at the same time. So remember, this is what we get the message that we get from here if that message is equal to three which is the one we set here to be programmed to be here <laughs> it it will work so this is how we can combine like combine programs okay guys our next thing the next thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna set up a screen uh yeah we're gonna set up a screen basically let's uh let's see okay 
let's we're gonna make use of the video of the video controller okay so the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna add a plane we got a plane let's rotate it 90 degrees let's rotate it like 60 degrees okay now let's make it 16 by 9 like oh sorry and there you go this one there you go so we can scale it good uh okay Let me save it now let's import some footage like this time this is basket game let me save it let, let's create a media player for the basket game go to media media player yes i want the texture basket game yes okay now let's create a material quick quick screen there you go let me save it let me open it uh let's set it to unlit uh let's create a texture 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 there you go texture sample parameter there you go uh texture call it texture there you go missiles just let's use this by now just let's save let's just add the material to oh sorry let's create a material instance Screen. let me save it let me just drag and drop it here let me open the basket game basket. Not back to the track. good now i'm getting the texture so let's let me drag let me open the screen material and let me add the basket texture so basket 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 so there you go let me save it okay i gotta rotate it and then 80 degrees uh, okay, the next step, let's turn this into a blueprint. So let's add a blueprint, like convert selection to blueprint. It's just a uh, factor. There you go. So let me save it in extra stuff. Uh, what we call uh, screen blueprint. Okay, let me just save it there we go so that our screen remember the first thing is to add the level directory interface then add a tag the tag is the LVL program there you go let me compile let me save it okay good uh something that we need to know is let's create a program like to toggle it um let me go to interface and get program info powerful trigger id uh, it's an integer let me just make it visible let me just drag it up here compile let me say program info will be but uh, okay let me just for now create a string which is called program name let me set it to string get me compile it let me make it visible and let me drag and drop it here so there you go let me compile let me save it okay so the triggers how many triggers we got we have this the cube we got this, the sphere, but also remember that we got the extra program. We got the three, which is the one that trigger both. So in this case, we're gonna use the four. Trigger ID will be number four. Good. Uh, the program name would be uh, trigger level screen. okay good uh let me just create let's create a 
let me just set a quick event by now remember we use play program and uh, if the ID is the same as the trigger we have here then let's print hello hello okay so let me compile let me save it good uh let's hit play as you see where is it where is it where is the other one so we got now trigger level screen so if you click it you see it says hello okay uh now we gotta make you play this uh you know the the media player so what you would do basically is just go here media player component blah 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 and that's it so okay but what if two elements are sharing i mean i'm sorry uh here i made this way because basically i can share like i can have a single media player with a map video like with different sources as I, as i did in the mofo let me just give you a quick example let me go ahead and open this project okay so sorry for the noise it just started raining so i hope you can listen uh okay i got this project which is the previous one the mobile one uh you can see that the screens they are you see there are various screens but the screens only have uh let's see uh like let me just open this it's just a. Uh, you see it it's just a video with uh, ma with map like this will be one screen this in another screen this in the floor and that's all so this is how it works so I can just change the same footage and uh, will affect all these screens or I can make like one footage to one screen another footage to other screen so on okay let, I'm, I'm gonna show you how but let's keep working on it so let, let's take the blueprint let's use the same technique that we use on the the quick technique that we use on the cylinder so let's create a boolean visible uh let me set it to boolean oh let's save it uh, uh okay so let me set hidden in game false to true i'm sorry okay set hidden in game to visible then not not boolean then i'm gonna set it visible okay let me save it now control b now let me go to, oops sorry was the controller here let me go to the girl telling camera let me trigger the level screen you see it trigger the level screen see it there we go we get it back there you go okay so we got a guard okay so let me put this visible bag because <laughs> there you go now we gotta start we gotta we have to make it play when we trigger that program so how it work uh okay we're gonna go to our video controller right how many programs we have so far so we got the cube the cylinder both and also the screen and we want uh, the program to the video to play on this so what we're gonna do we're gonna create four programs one two three four which is actually okay sorry guys my bad again uh, uh that was a mistake but okay so basically if you go to the video controller uh remember uh we wanted to the trigger for the for this is the trigger id number three so you see it's one two and this is number three so sorry number four so we need to add until so you got we got here number four so what we're gonna do is just move this we're gonna move this into this so there you go okay i want to have it here there you go in this case i'm gonna erase this i'm gonna leave it blank so 
this is the number four so I'm gonna drag and drop the basket game I'm sorry I'm sorry that is it okay so now let's hit play see let's go to the girl camera let's trigger the screen and as you see we got our screen playing back so what am I what am I saying that okay let's suppose that I got another actor so that has this same the same I'm sorry I got okay let me just go with a practical example okay let me create this plane in this case I'm gonna set it scale to 1080 by my 20 okay okay let me just rotate 90 degrees yes uh, let me just go ahead and create a import an another footage this time I'm gonna use this 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 this, this tall video yes okay this one okay I got the conference let me create an instance of the material let me just drag and drop it here let me just double click to open uh, let me create a media player uh, media media player uh, conference which is this guy let me just go ahead and open so it can load the texture there you go uh, let me go to the material let me drag the conference texture there you go let me just close it let me rotate it 180 degrees good so in our video controller what what how it works so i got four programs like from zero to, to four right um five okay so i got this media player which is basically will stop play will stop playing when i trigger this program but what if i want to create a program that trigger both at the same time so let's use the same the same so instead of going here create a blueprint blah 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 i just go to my video controller as you can see it's an array so i can create another okay in this case will be the conference so the conference now if i open the get the url i play the url enter and save it now if i hit play let me go to the my controller let me go to the camera if i trigger the screen you see that i got the 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 stuff playing let me just open the light show camera just double play it let me just oh my god i need to add a camo where i can see both you see it start playing they start playing together so it's like a combination where i can combine multiple programs and playbacks or some uh but okay just let me okay so i got a video controller here i got so what it's saying is that every time that i perform the program 4 the program id 4 which is in this case the trigger in this case trigger on the screen it will play back all the media players with the uh, with all assigned urls on it so just in case you have multiple but also so let's suppose that I can, I want to create an extra program. Let's say that I want to play back this boy here and this play this game here. So how can I do it? So I can go to the extra program and I can create an extra program. In this case, uh, the trigger ID will be five uh, and the description will be switch screens content okay uh i got it 
So now I'll go to my video controller and then go to create another one. So let me just go ahead and copy the data from here. Remember, and this one we open in this one the basket we open the basket media player with the basket URL. So but what if I take here and the program number five and I just take the basket game and assign the conference. Good. And then I created another instance and take the conference and assign the basket URL. Okay, so now let's hit save, now let's hit play. If we go back to, you see, now we got our switch screen content. So let me go to, oh, let me just move the open camera to a place where we can see both screens. There we go. So if we go to our light show camera and we trigger the screen, you see they started to play. But now if I hit switch, you see they switch the, uh, the URL. So that's a way that you can work with like with multiple, multiple video files. Uh, okay. So it depends on your, on your stuff because as you see, if the playback stops and if you go to my performance, you see my hard drive usage is really high. So it stopped the, the, the performance. I don't know why. Okay. So there you go. So let me trigger it back Let me switch it. There you go. Also, it's good that you make uh, make it loop. So your all your make it loop. But okay, if you go to the video controller, okay, there you go. So it's okay. Now you see. Now you get it, right? So if you go back to our light show, trigger the level screen. You see it? It will it will be back to the default settings. But if I switch the content, you can see that I switched them. So if I trigger my girl, do you see it? Try to my girl camera. Good. Uh, let me switch the content back again. In this case, I'm always performing the five, so I'm just going to trigger to trigger the screen back. And also, there's something that you might not notice, and is that. The TAA is affecting our screen. The, the ghosting you can see in the basket game. Uh, okay, guys, as I said before, the TAA is not on our talent, but it's in our back screen. Uh, it's an issue. And also, another issue is that since we're using Composure, uh, it's like the background is capturing, this foreground is capturing, and then they are merging the foreground on top, which means is that if I had something in front of my talent, it will be, it will be, it will, I mean, it will be behind the talent because the talent is supposed to be on the top. Like, let me give you an example. Let me, let me duplicate the screen. Let me rotate it and let me place it in front of my talents. So let me move it here, let me move it here. Let me rotate the camera a little bit. Let me just move it down. So now if I hit play, let me just trigger my GERD talent, uh, go to the GERD camera. You see the GERD is in front, even though it, this is supposed to be in front. So if I trigger the screen and you will see that I get the TAA issue as well. Okay. So how to fix it? Uh, I made a, a sort of small fix to it. So. It's not that I got a fix for everything, but I'll try my best to make this. It's just by choosing the, selecting the, the item that you want it to be in front of the talent, going to tag, and then in the actor tag, make sure it's actor, you will paste the FG capture tag. So you paste it, you, there you go, you save it. Then hit play. Now I'm gonna trigger my girl. I'm going to go to the girl camera. And now you see that it's in front. If I play back the video, you see the TAA issue is also resolved as well. You see now we got the the well playing video. So something to keep in mind 
is that it will remove the anti-LA, I think. So in case that you are us using a 3D object, another issue is like, let me, let me place the cube in front of it so you can see an example. Since the cube is merging from the floor, I'm sorry, it's emerging from the floor, you, you, it will look weird. <laughs> yes, because I haven't said the mask, the floor mask, but I'm planning to do it. Okay, so let me just hit play so you can see it. Let me just trigger the girl, go to girl camera. You can see and now if I trigger the cube, you see it? So it's like, it, it, it doesn't disappear. It's like, it's, it's just like, it just stay there and that's it. But I'm not. I'm just looking and working around for it. Uh, remember, I just added the, the, the FG capture to the cube. Uh, okay, so let me read the screen. Oh, sorry. Let me just delete the screen. Bye bye. Um, what else? Okay, so. Okay, so now you understand. Remember, I will put the tags and the TXT document. So, level like is the one to receive the light the signal like oh where is it where is it this on and off light signal but you can create your own light and there's so there's, there's also uh, uh where is it let me video controller there's also this uh where's it uh turn off screen that you can implement just in case that you want to turn off all the screen at once at the same time so you can just implement it to every screen and they, they will turn off at the same time or toggle. Uh, okay. Uh, yes, uh, let me just go ahead. Remember that I said before in the controller, you got some buttons that says address. This is basically when you wanna open in, when you wanna open the controllers in external device. So let me give you an example. Let me run this. And if I pick the camera address and go to my browser and then I paste it, you see I got the camera. So it's not connected, but I, I just hit refresh and then I got the camera. So same with talent. So if I copy talent, paste it, disconnect it, I refresh it, I got the talent. Um, station, same with programs and light. So, but station, it's basically where you will have all combined all combined connect you have all the program combined in a single window so it's good for um when you have like a computer connected in the same network you can control it from there so basically i'm i'm still working on that so there's a lot of a lot of improvements that can be done but i'm doing my best okay so that's basically it i hope you get the basic of this I uh, hope you get familiar with this and besides it's not only using like the quick BP stuff like my project you no know, but you should now have an idea how I program my events and my triggers and all that stuff any question remember I'll be there to ask remember to support me and support the project just by going to patreon and getting everything uh, so later I'll be I'll be uploading more tutorials because I'm planning to take my old demos, uh, the this demo, the basket demo. I don't know if you remember or if you saw it. The, there's a basket demo that I made. I'm going to migrate to this new to my new format, and also the one that says "Hablemos uh, de cine." <laughs> so I'll upload the whole process of working on them and sometimes i'm planning to do some live streaming so any question you can leave in the comments and thank you for watching it bye